I'm hoping that I can add some warmth to this room, literally and figuratively, with this electric stove. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This room is kind of cold, stark, spartan. And as the weather gets cold, I thought, well, one, you could always put a space heater in here to help augment the furnace. But why do that when you can get something like this? It's an electric stove that replicates kind of an old school wood burning stove, which I really love. So you could add just a little bit of ambiance, something like those fake flames to make it feel like it's a remote cabin or a rustic farmhouse. And yet maybe put out a little heat too. So I thought I would try this one. Now this is by Nook Nova and they actually make a few different designs. And I picked up the largest one here. They actually make some smaller ones. So if you have just a cute little office or a little workroom or something like that, that you just want a little bit of that ambiance, but you don't have a lot of space and you can pick up some of the smaller ones. But at 22 inches, this one seems like it's pretty decent sized. So let's get it unboxed, set up and check it out. Okay, covered in styrofoam here. And here is the top of the stove. Let's get her out. All right, so here's what we get wrapped in plastic here. Looks like we get some pretty heavy duty plastic legs. So even though they are plastic and hollow, these things are pretty robust. Then we get the Nook Nova instruction manual. Hopefully it should be pretty straightforward to set up. And we also get a remote control, which I didn't expect, but I'm super excited about. We also get some screws in there. So I think that will be how we affix the legs permanently. And then here is the stove itself. And it looks like it is all in one piece. Voila! There it is. First of all, I like this construction. Again, this is plastic up here, but pretty robust. It's gotten a matte finish. Definitely at a glance, it kind of looks like that cast iron type of stove. And then right here, we have a legit glass front. And I just took off the tape holding this down, but this actually looks like a wood burning stove handle. And then this opens up. You can see that glass panel in there. I mean, that's glass, not plastic. And then we have plastic fake logs in here, even a fake plastic grate. So I'm assuming that the plastic down here will let some light through and the plastic right here, it's kind of this bowed rear plastic piece. And that's where we will get the fire effect from. And then you can see we have a control panel down here with a little LED panel. And that seems to mimic what I see on the remote. So I think you can control it from both here as well as with the remote. Now I wanna show you that it's kind of a 180 degree stove. We have legit glass right here on the side. So you should be able to see this from all angles. And then it just has a nice look to it. And then on the back, we have some louvers right here. We have a pretty big cable, three prong grounded outlet right there. So other than me just laying this on its back and installing the legs, which I think I will do with a power tool, I think that's all I need to do to get the sucker started. And then we will get it plugged in and try it out. All right, I got the legs on. You're definitely gonna want a power tool for that. It's gonna make it so much easier because you're drilling those screws right into some hard plastic. So it's not that hard. It's actually one of the easiest pieces of furniture that I have ever assembled because that's all you're really gonna put on there. One of the things that I wanted to show you before I flip this back over is that I think the heating element for this little bad boy is under here. So what I've noticed is that we've got this little box down on the bottom. We have a heat shield. It looks like protecting the plastic. So we have this heat shield that goes the whole length of it. But right here, and it says do not cover, I think this is one of those heating elements that you would find in any kind of space heater, right? So it looks like that standard bar that gets heated up and radiates the heat. So I think the heat is really going to come from underneath here and you're actually not gonna see it because it's kind of buried. It's like six inches beyond the front edge of this, this little stove here, but that's where the heat is gonna come out. So it's almost like a regular space heater, but dressed up like a cast iron wood burning stove. So let's get the sucker set up and try it out. Woohoo! Just chillaxing in the bedroom here. Got the little stove plugged in. I've got the remote right here and I wanna show you that it has a little plastic tab, I think to preserve that battery. So I'm gonna pull it out here. And now here is the remote power button. It looks like flame timer. Looks like this is temperature up and down potentially. So I'm just gonna hit the power button here. Ooh, comes on instantly. And take a look at that. That is pretty cool. The bottom portion with the logs and the coals is glowing. So there is like a red orange light that's kind of peeking through that. But then on the back, it's like a projector screen. You've got those 
yellow and red flames just licking up. So what I think here is that now I can actually control the heater and I just heard it turn on. So this is turning on the heater. Oh, I can actually feel it's blowing as well. So I can feel a little air coming off towards me. And then I think I can just turn up the temp with this. So I'm going to hit this up here. Oh man, it's already getting warm. So we're going to take a look at that. And then if I hit the flame here, this flame button right here, what it's doing is it's cycling through some levels. So you can have a bright, medium, and low. So if you have the lights turned down, you're watching a movie, that kind of thing, and you don't want a lot of ambient light, you can turn it down. But if you want it nice and bright, you can turn it up like that. All right, now I can feel warm air coming off this thing. So I'm just going to peek under there. And there we have it, that space heater-like element. While I can't see it, even at this angle, but it's certainly if I were standing up, I'd be up here. But down there, you can totally see it, and that's what's creating that heat. It's kind of like every other space heater, and if I hit the down button here, I guess what we're doing is we're turning it down. And if I hit this little temperature button right there, it will turn it off. So I can control it all with the remote right here and even turn off the stove itself. So that is pretty awesome. Wow ambiance one but two actual heat this thing isn't just a looker it actually puts out some heat so really cool little stove i really feel like this is going to one be practical for the small rooms that you might want to have a little more heat in this winter and just a little bit of that rustic charm so if having a little country chic in your urban environment is going to help you live a little better i'll put a link to this in the description so you can pick one up peter von panda out we can discover more so much deeper We can live better than Ever things to Peter Peter Von Panda oh, oh, oh. Peter Von Panda